as a winner, the Bible says that the righteous man, and you could actually put in there a winner, because a righteous man is the way he ought to be. Righteous means it's the way it ought to be. Things are being done righteously, they're being done the way it ought to be. And so as a righteous person, as a winner, Bible Jesus said, this is the way it's going to work. You're going to live by faith. You're going to live by what you're persuaded about. How you're going to succeed, how you're going to go on, how everything's going to turn out is going to be based on what you, what you believe, your perception. Now, in my early days, I did a lot of believing for. I believed for this, believed for that, believed for my school bill to get paid, believed for opportunities and all that, and still do. But I've learned of it and a lot, and I think you have too, that we're actually believing we should be believing more in than for. Our faith really is not about faith to believe for healing, faith to believe for wealth, faith to believe for that, you know, that special car. Our faith should really be believing in. Not believing God for everything, but believing in God. Believing in God. So how do we really believe or perceive God? The Bible says that God is a rock. And so uh, and, and, uh, he told Peter, he said, you're a little rock, but uh, you know, I'm going to pound this great big rock. And it's like the rock of Gibraltar. So I want you to just visualize with me you know, this, this great, great big massive rock representing God. And I can hit it. I can bump it. I can spit on it. I can hit it with water. But I'm not going to change it. Okay. Truth is truth. In God's reality, I mean, who God really is, whether, whether you and I believe, whatever we believe in, whatever the whole world, uh, you know, it's been fun to travel all the world and be with Buddhists and be with Muslims and be with atheists and be with them and converse with them because one of the things that hits me is I do have this deep sense. You, we all have our perception about who God is, but God is who he is, and your perception doesn't really affect it, and mine doesn't either. He is who he is. And if I get to know him, then it really doesn't matter how many other opinions are out there they're just opinions, but uh, he is who he is. And so our faith is believing in who he is. Uh, and who is he to us? Because literally, here, here's where it really comes down to. You. Literally, if, if you believe he is honest, if you believe he cannot tell a lie, if you believe that he is truth above everything else, and then if you believe that he actually cares for you, and you believe that he actually respects you, and if you believe that he actually uh, uh, talks to you, as we sang today, and he speaks truth to you, and he speaks to you, and he says to you, you're a winner. Do you realize that writes in your heart the truth? And then the rock of Gibraltar that cannot be tarnished by anything or anyone or changed by anything or anyone has now come into you. And that which is written inside of you cannot be tarnished, cannot rust, cannot be hammered on, cannot be hit enough, cannot be slammed enough to ever be moved. And when you absolutely believe have faith in him and his nature. And he speaks to you and says, you're a winner. And you let that be written in your heart. There isn't anything that changes. You, I mean, you, you walk through life just with this incredible sense of being a winner. Of being where you should be at the right time. Walking through. And... None of your past memories now can taint that. 